Right now, I'm working on the Broadway show A Free Man of Color, and um, Jeffrey Wright is headlining that along with Mos, formerly Mos Def, <laughs> but yes. I am so honored because, you, you know, you, the demographic of a lot of shows, movies now, is it's not so diverse. And so to be a part of a show where there's uh, Hispanic, black, white, they're like mixtures, you know, it, there's a line in the play, Marjorie says, you know, co-mixtures and other races not yet classified. Like that's really what our show is, you know, and I, I think it's wonderful. And we had kids come and see it, middle and high school kids come and watch the show. And I think it's amazing for them. Every single person in that audience can look up on the stage and say, hey, I could do that. That guy looks like me or that girl looks like me. And I think that that is a very important message. Imagine the unimaginable. Race is a celebration. I think what's relevant is how, you know, this play takes place back in the 18th century, how in 1801, how even now, hundreds of years later, it's still scarily really relevant. You know, you have this black man who is free and he has a black slave as a servant. And you have this huge country, um, this very powerful country, Saint-Domingue, who is a powerhouse, so small, but they are a powerhouse. They overcome the greatest um, power in the world at that time. And then, you know, hundreds of years later, they're so vulnerable. They're probably one of the weakest countries alive right now. And I'm referring to uh, Haiti. Sorry, I'm like, just went blank. Yes, so in it, and now it's so, like now they're just so weak and they go from being the top power to one of the most vulnerable. How does that happen, you know? And it's really interesting. Luckily, this is an amazing ensemble I'm working with. I, this is my first Broadway show and I, I've been very blessed in the people that I get to work with so that they make it easy right there but I think it's just a matter of you just go and you do it and and you know once you're here it's okay your your mind is there you're ready to do it you're excited to do it but I think you know it's just like any anyone else's job you have the whole outside world all of your other problems going on you're like oh my gosh I gotta get to work you know it's just you figure it out, and I think that that's what I'm doing right now, is figuring it out. I just had my first feature film premiere of the movie, How Do You Know, with Reese Witherspoon, Jack Nicholson, Paul Rudd, and Owen Wilson. It was amazing. I'm excited. I, I'm just so excited about it. I got to go to the premiere on Monday. Uh, it was amazing. The, sh the, the movie is about uh, Reese Witherspoon's character, Lisa. She's kind of finds herself in limbo, her life, that she, as she knows it gets thrown upside down and it's really her journey of kind of finding where she's gonna land from there. And I play her best friend, Reva. Um, yeah, that, that's that.